my wall of state lions. I love going to school there. Obviously a lot of great things coming as far as athletics and everything, but big news that I shared out yesterday, I want to give a special shout out to a men's basketball player. And I'm, I'm going to try not to bur- butcher, butcher <laughs> his name, Curran, Curran Gardner, uh, a men's basketball player who signed this week with the University of West Alabama. Congratulations, uh, Curran. We uh, wish you the best of luck. Go Lions always, of course. And uh, he did very well. Of course, th- this is my first semester or first year, really, uh, at Wallace. So I haven't, like, been there to watch him. Uh, but looking at these stats, it seems like he was a heck of a player. Played in 82 games, 418 rebounds, 298 assists, and 128 steals. That sounds like a heck of a player. Um, I did see him play, obviously, uh, going to the basketball games um, this year. And when I did see him out there, I mean, he was very fast, a great player inside and out, could get the rebounds, could score, could play defense. It seems like he could do it all. But he is moving on, unfortunately, from Wallace State. So he'll go elsewhere, but congratulations on going to the University of West Alabama. Uh, We wish you nothing but the best of luck. And, uh, you know, we're pulling for you, obviously, here in Wallace State Territory. Also, in other Lion news, how about Monday? Two days ago, I was there. Wallace State wins 6-5 to over Motlow State with a walk-off double to bring in two runs after being down 5-4. to four. It's not necessarily a comeback, but one where, well, I, I guess they're, they're from behind. They still come back for it. Here is the box score. The Motlow State Bucks versus Wallace State Lions. It was 2-0 at the end of one. Um, at the end of three, it was two to one. Then Motlow would outscore Wallace three to two in the fourth, to being tied at four. Then we actually, actually, we were really, uh, you know, we were tied at five. Um, didn't really come from behind necessarily, although it, it was as the game went on, there weren't as many base hits and runs uh, being scored. Uh, Colson uh, Lawrence had five at bats, one run off three hits. Um, he, he ran one guy in. Um, Mitchell Hur is a really good player. He had five at bats, three RBIs of the six runs that Wallace was able to get. Um, you know, so Mitchell Hur had three, Jace Guyette had one, Colson Lawrence had one RBI. Uh, Mitchell Hur had a home run, so um, yeah, let's see. I'm still trying to learn how to read all this, but it is incredible too to see. Uh, just, I mean, this is a really good baseball program and a good baseball school. Um, again, you know, it was at, at one point in this game, and again, it wasn't much, much of a comeback, but you know, at, at one point they were down five to four. You're in the final inning, right? They gave up a run, but they also, it was still that it was tied at five. You needed something. Uh, and they ran two guys in counting, um, the catcher that I think they had one on and they ran a couple guys in. Uh, but overall, I think Wallace uh, did very well in this game. I, I, honestly, they are, they're an incredible baseball team. And I don't know, you guys have heard me a little bit on softball. I think they have lost the game, but like they were like 22 and Oh, a couple weeks ago that they did finally take a loss in softball. Uh, but I mean, uh, Wallace, look, especially the softball. And I joke like Montana Fountain ain't got nothing on what the Lions softball team's got, <laughs> you know, but yeah, uh, y'all probably saw me live um, during the ninth inning on Monday. Um, we were tied at five apiece. And then of course a walk off uh, base hit 
you know, at, at one point it was five to four. Then we tied it up, and then they brought in a run or so. But anyway, overall, I, I, I am kind of getting this mixed up a little bit. But uh, this was a game. Um, I don't even. I don't even know if I want to say that they necessarily needed. But if you look at it right now, currently, let me uh, stop screen sharing here. Um, and uh, let's see, where is it? Here it is. Okay. So this is, well, this is softball right here. Um, let me go to baseball standings here. So you have Hansville, who is tied with Sneed State at eleven and five. Shelton State uh, has a fourteen and two record with an eighty-seven win percentage, at least in their division. Now, overall, we get back to that real quick. Um, Twenty-four and eleven is what um, Wallace State is. Um, they really have. Well, Sneed State has the most wins of anybody, um, you know. But then again, they've only played 33 games. Shelton State's played the most of anybody. Um, so, at least in this division here. But, yeah, overall, I, I will say that um, Wallace, you know, has won six straight, right? The last 10, they're eight and two. They got a 68 win percentage. Uh, they're 24 and 11. I mean, they are in a really good spot for the postseason. They really, really are. They got to get past Sneed State, Shelton State, and all of that, which let me double check. I think they are coming up on the schedule, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but let me see. Uh, let's see. Shelton State, Saturday, April 23rd. That's a doubleheader at 2 and 5. Sneed State, they got that going for them next Thursday, which is their next game anyway, by the way, at 2 Central and then 5 Central. They got a doubleheader. So they got some doubleheaders coming up. Uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully go to those games. I mean, 2 o'clock will be after one of my classes, so I'll, maybe I stay on campus. And then they travel to – so they, they have – on the 14th, a week from tomorrow, um, they have a doubleheader at home with Sneed State. Then on the following this Saturday, uh, or next Saturday, I should say, uh, they go to Sneed State. Then they go at Shelton. Then they play at home, uh, Shelton State, in a doubleheader on the 23rd. Then they have Calhoun Community College on the road on Thursday uh, April 28th, and then on April 30th, they will have Calhoun at home in a doubleheader, um, and then so on. So, yeah, uh, it, it's all I, – I guess it looks like – and I don't know how I haven't caught on to this or what, but I, I guess it's all like basically you play home and homes in doubleheaders. Um, so I don't know how I've missed the pattern, but I, I guess that would make sense in ways, but – Anyway, overall, I'll say this as far as Wallace State goes. And, again, shout-out to Karan Garner uh, signing with University of West Alabama, 82 games, uh, 418 rebounds, 298 assists in his career uh, with 128 steals at Wallace State. He's with West Alabama. Um, and, again, it seems like everything is going for the men's baseball team as they're in third place in um, – uh, this division here, but again, kind of really tied for second, um, at least division record wise. Overall, they're still kind of behind there with uh, Sneed State ahead by one game, but uh, everything's looking good, everything's going for them. They'll surely they will be in the postseason, of course, uh, and they'll have to face the bigger teams, and that's when they really got to crack down and, and just try to get it all together. So, but we'll wait and see what happens. Thank you.